Hey people, welcome back. In this session, we'll learn about how to perform the cross tabulation analysis, which is a part of chi-square analysis. So cross tabulation analysis we perform when you have the two categorical variable minimum. And maybe you wanted to see with another categorical variable, the relationship. So suppose here is the example of the data. Maybe you wanted to see if you are running on a standard speed or you are running on a reduced speed, does it make any difference to meet the target? The race is completed on time or not completed on time. And you wanted to see this with a male or female separately. Does the female are more prompt not to complete the race if they are running on the standard speed or they are more prone to complete the speed if they are running on the standard speed versus the male they are running on the standard or the reduced speed they are completing or not completing. So what are the chances? So you need to have the first as an Y variable completing or not completing as in categorical variable. Then you have a X variable, which is the speed you are running at the standard or reduce. And you wanted to see this separately from another categorical variable, maybe male or female. You can see the same example for the another data set. Like as let's say you have a Suppose you are running the machine. Here is the machine A, B, C, D. And here is the production. Either you meet the production target or not. And then too you are working in the shifts. Like a shift A, B or C. That can be your layer here. Right? This is your Y variable. This is your X variable. And here is your Z variable. Another thing can be like as you have, maybe you have a location of a process. Maybe your office is in Mumbai, office is in Delhi, maybe office is in Chennai. Then you have a X variable is an education. What kind of you have an engineer, you have a non-engineer or maybe you have a simple graduate like people they are working in your team and based on that you are meeting the production target or the target either they met or they did not met. And similar kind of other data you can have. In this case, we perform the cross tabulation analysis. How to do this? Let me help you to understand the same thing in the mini tab. I have around 1000 data points for this, which I have collected over past time. Now I wanted to see either the speed and the target is related to each other or not, then to it comes from the gender as in male or female. I'll go to the mini tab here and I will be pasting this data in this column. Now my data is ready. We'll go to the stat. We'll go to the tables. And in table, I will be selecting the cross tabulation analysis and chi-square, this part. Click on this. What you want to see in the row. So probably I may want to create a row of speed. Then in columns, I may want to see the target met or do not met, none or completed. And then I want to create two layer, which is for the gender, male and female. I'm done. Now in this, the display, what all the things you want to see. So I will be going to the chi-square tab. In chi-square tab, I wanted to look for the each cell contribution to the chi-square. What is my expected cell count? perform the chi-square analysis and expected cell count I will be comparing with my actual. And then if there is a difference is high, contribution to the chi-square will be high. If there is minimum difference, the contribution to the chi-square will be low. Click on OK. In other stats, no need to worry about anything. Neither you need to worry about any of the options here. Leave everything as it is. Just all, you just need to go to the chi-square tab, select the chi-square test, expected cell count and the each cell contribution to the chi-square. That's all. Now you click on OK and you will see the result in front of you. So the total number of samples what I have, this is first result is for the female. In female tab what I have, total 518 sample I have for the female. Out of 518 sample, 189, they are running at the reduced speed and 329 are running at the standard speed. Out of this 189 who was running at the reduced speed, 70 completed the race on time and 119 did not complete on time. While the 329 who is running on the standard speed, 114 completed 
and 215 not completed. Out of the 70, expectation was 67 and contribution to the chi-square is 0 0.12 which is minimum. Out of 119, 121 was expected instead of 119, contribution to the chi-square again is low 1.06. 0 0.06 is really minimum which is not, seems to be not significant. Out of these 329 of the female candidate who is running at the standard speed, out of 329, 114 who completed against the expected of 116 and 215 not completed against the expected of 212. So number difference is minimum. That's how the contribution to the chi-square is also low. Now let's go to the male candidate. Now if you see the male candidate here, out of total 482 sample I have. In 482 sample, 116 has running at the reduced speed, 166 running at the reduced speed, and 316 running at the standard speed. Out of 166, 61 was actual against the expected of 59. 105 was actual against the expected of 106. So there is a very minimum difference hardly of one unit, and that's how the contribution to the chi square is also low. Now, if I see the standard, pull the male candidate out of 316 113 completed against the expected of 114 and 203 completed against the expected of 201 so again there is a minimum difference so it seems the difference is too low contribution to the chi square is too low so then there will not be any difference and what we see the same thing with the p value here so p value for the male candidate is 0 0.830 which is greater than 0 0.05 which says there is no statistical difference the similar way if i look for the female candidate p value is 0 0.85 point, uh, 585 which says there is no statistical difference so we can conclude either it's a male or female Running at a reduced speed or a standard speed, target is completed, not completed. They are not statistically dependent. They all are independent categories. And that's the reason p-value is greater than 0 0.05. This is the way we perform the cross tabulation. In case we want to change the positions, suppose in rows, I wanted to see the target. In column, maybe I wanted to look for the gender. And in layers, I wanted to make it by speed. Speed is reduced or speed is standard. And then I wanted to perform this analysis. Let's see if there is a difference or no. Click on OK. And now you look at the p-value for the reduced speed. Again, there is no difference 0.955. Altogether, there are 355 example samples I have for the reduced speed. And I have around 645 sample for the standard speed and p-value 0.768. So that means there is no difference. So reduce the speed or standard speed, you have completed or not completed when you are male or female really doesn't make any difference. So whatever the data we have collected, the chance of variation in case you see, this is a common cause of variation. This is not a special cause of variation because your p-value of chi-square analysis does not support that. P-value is greater than 0 0.05, which means there is no difference. And this is the way we perform the cross-tabulation test. Thank you so much, people, and I will see you in the next session.